Hi again everyone, I'm back with another review video. The XP Pen company has sent me another tablet to review. It's a new release called Deco03 and I'll be trying this tablet and reviewing it in this video. Let me first unbox it and see what's inside. So this is the tablet. Opening the plastic case took some effort since it was too sticky. So this is the tablet. It's so light in weight and slim as well. The thickness is 8mm only, so you can imagine how thin is that. Look at how smooth the tablet surface is, I like it. They say it's scratch and wear resistant, and it really seems so. Let's see what else is inside the box. So this is the user's manual, it comes in multiple languages. This says you can get an extra 1 month warranty if you scan the code. And this is a cute thank you message in multiple languages. And here's the warranty card. And warranty policy. This is a glove to wear when drawing, but personally I don't find it necessary so I don't use it. It might be more useful for a tablet that has a screen though. This is the USB cable to connect the tablet to the computer. And finally, this flash disk has the driver installer. There is one more thing under this, it was a little bit of a struggle to take it out. So the last but not the least, the tablet pen, I almost forgot about it. This tube is pretty cool actually, this side contains the pen. And the other side contains the replacement nibs plus the wireless USB. I'm not sure if you can see the nibs since everything is black. One more cool thing I forgot to film earlier is that the cover of the tube can be used as a pen holder. So this is a really convenient all-in-one tube for carrying your tablet around and taking it outside maybe. Now let's connect the tablet and test it. I'll first insert the flash disk to install the tablet driver. I had to uninstall my initial tablet driver before installing this one in order for it to work properly. Installation done. I'll run my favorite pen tool site to test it. It's working already. That was pretty quick. And this is what I like about XP pen tablets. No restart is needed. You just install the driver and the pen pressure starts working immediately. Okay then, I'll do a quick sketch for testing purpose. I like how this tablet's surface is smooth, you don't feel so guilty hearing the sound of the friction that the pen makes. But I feel I need to press hard to get dark lines. So I'll take a look at the driver's properties. Looks like I can change the pressure output throughout this graph. So I'll keep playing around with this until I get a result I'm satisfied with. Let's talk a little bit about this tablet's plus points, at least the ones for me. First of all, it's very slim and light in weight. Secondly, it has 8192 pressure levels, which is a great pressure sensitivity. And thirdly and most importantly, is the easiness of installing the driver, as you've already seen. So far, I like how the tablet is working smoothly. I didn't face any trouble drawing, and as you can see, I'm sketching freely. I almost never use express keys, but this time I thought let's give them a try. It might also help some of you who'd like to use them but don't know how to. So I'll click this express keys button, and from here I'll add paint tool Sci. You can add any software you want. Now for the express keys, you can set multiple functions to them. For me, I'll add keyboard shortcuts to my tools, so I'll use the function key option and then choose shortcuts option and press the keyboard key I want. And that's it, it's so simple to set up those express keys. Now I'll just go back to draw and try to use those express keys, while I'll most likely just not get used to them anyway, because I'm so dependent on my keyboard keys instead. Anyway, lastly I want to try the wireless mode, 
Somehow, I lost the sketch I had previously drawn. I can't remember why to be honest. But anyway, I have inserted the wireless adapter into my USB slot. And it's working. That was the simplest of all. I like the wireless mode because it's a great to draw without cables tying your tablet to the computer. It gives me an extra luxury of freedom that I got used to and can't seem to let go of. So it's another plus for this tablet in my opinion. Okay, that sums it up. If you're interested in this tablet and wondering whether it's worth it, I'll tell you it totally is, so go ahead if you liked it. One thing I really like about the XP Pen company is how close they feel to the customer. They are very responsive and you can easily reach them on their Facebook page. The other thing I really liked here is how considerate they are. The flash disk I used to install the driver had more stuff. For example, this pen issues guide, this link to download the latest driver, this guide to make pen pressure work if you had trouble with Photoshop, and even a list of free drawing softwares, which is honestly the first time I see a company going the extra step to provide. I was extremely touched by this because it really helps artists who are just starting out, and I like that. So that leads me to conclude my review video. If you have any questions that I did not answer in the video, please type them in the comments below. And please check the description box for links on where to buy this tablet. Thank you for watching. Bye!